प्रभुदास एडवेंचर रिटन बाय मनोज दास देर वॉज ए सेज हु हैड ए नंबर ऑफ डिसाइपल्स इन हिज आश्रम बट दी वन हु वॉज प्रोफ्यूजली क्वेटेड फ्रॉम द स्क्रिप्चर्स वॉज प्रभुदास ही वॉज नेवर टायर्ड ऑफ टॉकिंग एंड हैड रेडी एडवाइस फॉर एनी वन हैविंग एनी प्रॉब्लम इट इज ए जॉय टू मीट सच ए स्कॉलर कमेंटेड दोज हु विजिटेड दि आश्रम बट दि गुरु हिमसेल्फ वॉज हार्डली एंथुजियाटिक अबाउट प्रभुदास हुए अदर्स प्रेज दि बॉय ही वुड ओनली स्माइल वंस दि गुरु वेड टू सेंड ए मेसेज टू द किंग He looked at his students and asked, "Who is willing to pay a visit to the king's court?" All but Prabodhas said, "Whoever is chosen by you, O master." Prabodhas alone said, "I will be happy to go, O master." The guru kept quiet. After an hour, Prabodhas went to him and humbly asked, "When do I start, master?" The guru thought for a moment and said, "I have no doubt that you have learned your lessons well, but I am not sure if you can make the right use of your learning and conduct yourself properly." "I can, O oh master. Why not try me?" Prabodhas pleaded. "Very well. Here is my letter to the king. Carry it carefully." and come back with his reply soon said the guru aaj he handed the sheet of palm leaves to prabodhas soon prabodhas was on his way to the palace he recollected a number of lessons he had learnt from his guru and from the books one teaching that readily came to his mind was the advice to look upon every being human or animal tree or river as a manifestation of god this road i am walking on this breeze that is refreshing me these trees which are giving me shade all are manifestations of god how many are there as quick as myself in learning the lessons given by our master numbled prabodhas by way of complimenting himself Suddenly he heard a noise looking ahead he saw an elephant rushing in his direction everything is god as i am so is the elephant it cannot harm me for god harming god is absurd prabodhas argued with himself as he kept on walking the elephant trumpeted It was coming nearer and faster. Get away, young man! Get away! Shouted the mahout, seated on the elephant, while making a vain bid to keep the huge animal under control. Here is an opportunity to put the guru's teaching to practice. I am God, the elephant. The elephant too is God. There is no sense of god fearing god chanted prabhudas as he traversed the road of course with some trepidation get off the road you fool shouted the mahout in despair but prabhudas refused to move some passers by saw him but before they were able to push prabhudas to a side The elephant caught him in its trunk and hurled him onto a bush. Prabodhas lay unconscious. After the elephant was gone, the passers-by recognized Prabodhas and carried him to the ashram. Luckily, Prabodhas recovered before long. The people had told the guru all that had happened. Why did not you keep out of the elephant's way? asked the master oh master how could prabodhas the god have thought that how would be so badly treated by elephant the god asked prabodhas the guru smiled 
If you saw God in the elephant, why did not you fail to see God in the mahout? How could Prabhudas the God disobey mahout the God? Prabhudas had no answer. My son, it is easy to remember or recite a theory, but it is not that easy to realize it. The situation would have been different if you had realized the truth that is the theory. But what you did was to put the theory into test in a foolish manner. You did not use your common sense. Otherwise, you would have taken heed of what the Mahout said. Explain the Guru.